October's energy is all around remembering who you are. More so remembering what you are. You're a soul in a body. And when we remember who that soul is, we're then connected once more to the reason why that soul's here, to the purpose that soul came here to step into, to the impact that soul came here to make. I almost want everyone to kind of take a third person perspective from all of this. If we came here with an intention and we did to do big things, important things, if we came here with an intention to learn big things for the soul's growth and expansion, friend, do you think that that's going to be easy -y all the time? It's not, but you get to choose ease and flow. And that's the most important thing. That's what's connected to your power. I choose ease and flow while I'm working on some stuff that doesn't feel so comfortable right now. You feel me? And October's energy is giving us an, an ability to, an opportunity to see the magic within our own soul. The magic and the wonder of the innocent soul that came here to have an experience. Bravely, might I add, an experience of contrast, an experience of what in the physical world we call struggle, pain. Okay, that's a, that's a physical thing. We associate it physically. The soul knows perfection. The soul knows innocence. The soul knows only love and light. And when we're connected and aligned to the soul, and we do this through self-reflection, self-allowance, self-awareness, when we stay as much as we possibly can, is it a perfect thing? No. Is it an everyday thing? No. Is it an every moment by moment by moment thing? It could be if you chose to, but more than likely, no, because you're here um, side by side with an ego, an ego that wants to keep you safe here in the physical world from making a fool of yourself, from failing, from being seen as not good enough or capable enough or powerful enough or smart enough or psychic enough or intuitive enough or healing enough, right? The ego is going to sit here and judge the entire process. Your soul's like, this is just a ride. Your soul's like, been here, done that. Just got to remember what I said I was going to do. And so when we, in October, have the opportunity to take a step back and tune in to why I'm here, what I'm doing, what I've accumulated, what I've achieved, what I've learned so far, how I've been doing with my healing. We allow the magic. We've got a highlighter. We're highlighting big things this month, friends. Highlighting the magic. We're allowing the magic to bubble up to the surface to be realized once more. There's magic that's in you. It's already a thing. Done deal. No one has to ask for it, earn it, pay for it. You just... It is, it is, it is as much as you're worthy. It is as much as you are a spiritual being having a human experience. It just is. You are magic and you have the ability to use that magic to manifest your desires, to manifest experiences, opportunities, and connections. The magic is what we want to be operating within as well, because we see that it's not as hard when we allow the magic to bubble up and be what leads the way. Magic is located in your heart space, okay? Heart spaces. That's a, that's a uh, spoiler alert, okay? Remembering we hold the keys. We hold the keys. We hold the seeds. And as we plant those seeds, and that's what we've been doing, we have moments like this in October where we get to reflect on how well those seeds are growing. If we need to prune some stuff. If there's people we caught up with along the way that have to go. If there's experiences that we've been in, uh, in stepping into that aren't serving the greater purpose, it needs to stop. If there's energy around us that's not supporting our expansion, we have to clear it out. It's good to take time to reflect. It's good to take time to go inward and do your healing. It's good to take time to see how far you've come. It's good to start to count your blessings. It's good to start to look at how freaking awesome you are. It's good to start patting self on back. Who doesn't pat themselves on the back? Who's not accustomed to, you know, um, the praise and the compliments? Get used to it, friends. It's what you're here to use as a gauge 
and where you are. You, you're the one. You got to be your own cheerleader. You got to be your own fan. If you're not your own cheerleader and you're not your own fan, it's not going to matter how many people line up to tell you you're amazing. You're never going to believe it. When you take this time to remember what you are, you're a spirit in a human body. It gets me every time. The magnitude, the magnificence. It's a pretty freaking big deal. You're a big deal. You're a real big deal. And you're connected to the biggest thing that's ever going to be a thing. Source energy. An extension of that source energy. You're not less powerful than source energy. You are source energy in a body. You can do the things that source can do. Have the things that source could desire. But the fun part of the game is that we came to life to witness and experience not just contrast, but buffers of time. Buffers that say you got to wait just a second soul, which you're not at all accustomed to. You don't know what it means to wait. You don't know what it means to be this buffer that can look separate from source in such a degree or to such in such a way that your desire has to it needs a minute to get to you in the spiritual realm you've got it like that it's no big deal been there done that had that long time ago so can it get a little trippy hell yeah wait a minute it doesn't make sense where i find myself when i know and i feel and i hear and i see this greatest potential i possess this makes no sense it's not about trying to figure it out as much as it is about allowing where you are to be where you are for now while the universe rectifies this not making sense thing that's going on and brings you what it is that you are aligned with. And that, that's what happens. So as we step into today and the clarity that we would wish to deliver to you, what is it that you're having a struggle with? Um, when it comes to giving yourself that space and that time to do the self-reflection, to have the self-awareness, to allow yourself to see your accomplishments, how far you've come. Where are you struggling? Where are you resonating with these words but having, a, um, having maybe a little bit of hesitation when it comes to embodying these words? This is what I really want to be able to support you all with. And you can drop your comments below and I'm happy to give you some insight. <laughs>